All right, guys. For uh, 4.4, I gave you guys a, a lesson to come and try to recreate this uh, the code for this cat. Um, I basically am going to give you the code right here because this is kind of a hard assignment. A lot of the kids in class struggled with it. So I'm going to give it to you, but I also want to talk it out. And please listen to this video. Don't just copy what this says. I'm going to just talk it out. I'm going to tell you some things that you need to remember or kind of learn from this. I'll try to make it quick. So the very first thing I do is I set uh, variables. I put this on the worksheet. So the way I set variables, I grab the drawer in the variables drawer. I grab the one that says var x equals. Okay, that's what you guys need. When you're setting a variable, that's it says var at the very beginning. Okay, and I made mine likes. I set it to zero because that's what it should start at. I also have a comments one where I want to say some stuff. So I made var comments and I set it to get text. I set it to get the text that's already in there. Okay, if nothing was in there, I could just put an empty string. But we already have something in there. On event, the down button's clicked. I need to go my variable likes equals likes minus one. That's the math. That's when the computer's doing the math in its head. In order for it to show the math to the user, I have to set the text. I want to set the text to show right here in this little thing. If I hover my mouse over, it's called the like counter output. So I know to put it there. Set my text to like counter output, and I want to concatenate. I had to go to math and grab this concatenation. A lot of people think this is math. Well, it's not. This is this part right here when you're joining a string and a number or a variable or something like that together. This is called concatenation, this plus sign. There's no math being done right here. All it's doing is putting them side by side. It's making this likes right here that looks just like this right next to my to my number that changes, which is my variable called likes, which is this right here. Okay, um, same thing for my up button. That was for my down button. A lot of people got confused in the down button. They tried to do minus right here. This only this, the minus for the math is on the, the first line. Okay, the math is done here. The math is done here. This plus sign and this plus sign are concatenation. It's just joining this string next to this variable. Joining this string next to the same variable. Okay, uh, the hardest part, some people got confused on how to do this. Uh, on event, the comment button's clicked. So what happens is they'll type a comment in here, and when they click this button, it should go in here. And the way that happens is this. I want to change my comments, so I go to my variable and grab this, drag it in, It's and I change the X to comments, and I'm going to concatenate a few things. When you guys drag your math in, make sure you drag a math in. Well, I'll, I'll do it for you too. But when you drag your math in, drag it in, and when you put this one in, put it in this side, on the left side, so that way your your sign for your print line will go in the right place. So I just wanted to say comments equals comments plus a string that is this sign right there. It's right above your enter. Okay. It's right above your enter. That's called print line. It basically it takes a comment to the next line. Okay, so this one, so if I made a comment and hit enter it. I don't want it to print here. I want it to print right underneath it. Make it like a list. And the very last thing I want to get is whatever's in this box. And I can reset it and hover over it and realize I can go get the text from there. Get the text from the new comment input. Okay, so that's what it needs to look like. This is the math on this. It's doing all the math and putting it into one little word, which is a variable. <clears throat> in order for it to show the user, it had, we have to set the text of this to all that stuff we just did right here. So set the text for all, com and this is the, the place I wanted to go to in my comments section. It's called all common output, and I want to show my big variable, which is all this stuff putting together. It's concatenating together. Also, in order for this, this little in, uh, user input to disappear whenever I click it, I have to set the property or set text of the new comment input text to a, just an empty string. And if that, if that works, it should work like this. <clears throat> it should work just like that. Once you guys get that, make sure you hit share, copy, paste, <clears throat> and turn that in.